Nice flounder. Come on, come on. Boom! Let's go. Boom, baby. What's up, y'all? I'm Captain Jody with Bayou Bandit Charters. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new and you love inshore fishing, give my channel a subscribe. I'd appreciate it and really help my channel grow. Today, we're out here trying to dodge rain again. It's raining over there. It's raining over there. It's lightning and raining over there. It's lightning and raining offshore. We got another one right there. Just saw some lightning. So I don't know how long we're gonna get to fish, but we're gonna do something new today and try to prove or disprove a myth. I'm gonna be using a tandem rig today. I've got uh, my fish bite, dirty boxers, and a tap out. And I've got a regular lead head jig head. And I've got a red headed jig head. The myth I've been hearing for years is if you want to catch more flounder use a red headed jig head so we're going to try that out today got the old hobo custom rod ready to go stay tuned for some flounder action look at the color of that water y'all trailer motor is just under the water and you can see how ugly it is absolutely ugly got to watch that lightning make sure it doesn't get too close absolutely ugly water y'all telling you nasty nasty stuff we got a falling tide today and i like targeting this grass line get close to this grass on these flats you can tell with that green grass that this is a shallow flat that comes out here to the channel and that's all we're doing is just bumping bottom easing along this flat you want to go real slow when you're flounder fishing you want to move your boat slow and you want to fish slow it rains every time i go fishing y'all every time fish on soon as it hit the water y'all oh yeah is that a flounder it flat sure is all right, y'all, we got a flounder. As soon as that bait hit the water. Come on, boy. Woo! All right. Here's the thing. It was not. It was not on the red jig head. It was on the lead jig head. He absolutely hammered that thing, y'all. Let's get a measurement on him. Oh yeah, 14 and a half. I am keeping fish today. I'm glad he's legal cause this got him, got him in the gills. There we go, y'all. Flounder number one in the box on the lead head jig head. All right, that was classic y'all. Right in the, right in the mouth of this creek drain, falling tide. Those flounders stage up around these creek mouths. And dude, as soon as that bait hit the water, he was on it. But he did not hit the red jig head. All right, creeks like this are perfect to hold flounder on the falling tide. Got our main creek here. We got a little feeder creek here. And the mouth of that bait's coming out of the marsh, right? And those flounder like to stage up. So that should be a perfect spot to pick up a flounder. That should be money right there for a flounder. There's a flounder in there. I know it. I feel it. I feel it in my plums. They got to be a flounder in there. I keep seeing that red working in there. I'm gonna get my uh, get my gold spinner throw in there see if I can't catch that red there he is there he is I knew I saw him in there working oh my god that's a flounder oh that's a big flounder that's a flounder, y'all. That's a good one. 
this may be my <laughs> this may be my next favorite flounder lure man that's crazy look at that y'all look at that this may be my next favorite flounder lure golly he swallowed it too he hit it hard i mean that rascal hit it hard looking at a 17 inch flounder golly he smoked it i mean he absolutely smoked it y'all he absolutely smoked it y'all smoked it flounder number two in the box now should i keep on trying my tandem rig or should i go with a gold spinner i don't know i'm gonna have to make a few more casts in there with this gold spinner y'all saw the last video if y'all hadn't seen the last video please check it out all right y'all it is still it is quiet and these bugs man they just came out feeding uh if y'all hadn't tried skeeter hawk before get you some i'll leave the link in the description below uh use my discount code to save 15 percent off your purchase price it's all natural it has no deed in it i've been using it for about three months now uh on charters at night in the marsh they love it i love it it works really really good it's got a good clean smell to it doesn't burn your eyes doesn't make you cough doesn't get you all choked up like the deep does i love this product it works very well need to try you some skeeter hawk y'all hawk soap company they make some awesome soaps too i used to buy you rum runner soap check out their website they've got a lot of different products but that's the ticket y'all no deet don't put poison on you use this skeeter hawk Fish on. Didn't, look at there. Snatched. Snag hooked a flounder, y'all. Sorry about that, little guy. Sorry about that. But uh, should we give that one to the pink, uh, to the red jig head? It's a catch on a red jig head. So I guess that would be a tie. Come on, little guy. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what a release. All right. If we give that to the red jig head, that means we're tied up. Well, y'all, I have lost my double rig. And that was the only red jig head I had left. So, let's see what we can do on the gold spinner. I'm going to say that the jig head doesn't matter. From that little small sample i'm gonna say it don't matter y'all let me know in the comments do y'all think a red jig head makes any difference when you flounder fishing golly that gold spinner is where it's at, y'all. That was the third cast with that thing. Caught a nice flounder. Nice flounder. Come on, come on. Boom! Let's go. Boom, baby. The gold spinner, y'all. Whoo! No, you don't. I got you now, boy. Whew. Boom. 
almost 18 inches long y'all that's where it's at let's go on a gold spinner golly let's go whoo boom I love it when you figure something out y'all boom I thought on the last video I did that it was it was just a fluke right no pun intended fluke but yeah I, I thought it was a fluke okay I caught a flounder caught two flounder but no stained muddy absolute mud mud water you see that bait disappearing it's not six inches under the water all i'm doing is just slow rolling now that i know it catches flounder i'm just slow rolling it letting it glide right off the bottom just enough to make that spinner spin i think i have come up with my new favorite flounder flounder lure they have got to be you know flounder's got a big lateral line they've got to be feeling the vibrations of that spinner and keying in on it and when they get close enough to it they see and smell that dirty boxer <laughs> and they thump it too when they hit this thing they thump it <laughs> back when i caught that first flounder today with this thing <laughs> i should have stuck with it <laughs> 